Hi guys, Rob 46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP 22 on the Xbox Series X. It's time to continue with career mode. It is time for Mugello with the Yamaha, starting from the back. This is going to be interesting, I think. Um, six laps. Is it dry? Oh no. Ah, wet race. That is not good. We are going to struggle here. Right, so a wet race. First one of the season. Not looking forward to this one. From the back. What can we do? We need to get to the front as quick as possible. Because once the uh, first lap is over. We're going to be in trouble. Okay, we're away. Okay, that was a good start, straight, straight in the third. Into second, careful, careful, careful. Right, we lead at the moment, this will not last, not around here. Oh, especially if I keep doing that. Though actually, we weren't too bad through there, to be fair. Oh, uh, curb, green. That's what we've got to go careful with. Bit wide there. Up towards Ari Beata 2. Don't really want to be touching those wet curbs. The dry line will start appearing in a few laps time, but at the moment, it is very wet still. No. Oh. That's twice on the green on the first lap. That doesn't bode well. Only got one track limits warning though, which is okay. Right, we survived the first lap. Can we survive the rest of the race? Probably not. The AI will get a bit more comfortable with each lap. I will not. I'll get less comfortable annoyingly. Well, we could potentially lose the lead soon. Miller is not leaving me alone. Come on, Jan. Right on me still. Touch that curve again. Good thing is we're kind of blocking Miller at the moment. Not for long that Ducati's going to come past, surely. Espargo, a leash, fastest lap. Good 
could probably risk braking a little bit later. Just whether I want to take that risk or not. Right, tighter line please. A little bit tighter, not a huge amount though. That's drifting wide. Oh, he's looking to get past. Big old train. Okay, I thought I was going to be crashing then. I've left the door open. Not close enough to get through. Trouble is, I'm going to make a mistake and it's not going to just let one through. It's going to let a lot of them through. Five zero for me, fifty four seven for Remy Gardner. They're going to start getting impatient soon, and we will see a move like that. And there goes Miller again. Oh no. Big old mistake from me. He's coming through now. Miller was sliding a bit then. Oh. Oh. The two factory Ducatis are through. Not close enough to do anything into turn one. Kind of messed up anyway. That's them two gone. Oh, curb. Been dirt, trying to find a way through now. Feel like I'm a bit of a sitting duck at the moment. Come on, Bindic, please just leave me alone. 
bit wide there. This is where we lost to Bang Yaya the previous lap. Binder wasn't close enough. Right, one lap to go. Okay, that was a bit better in the turn one that time. we could stay in third, I would be very happy with that, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think we're going to end up getting mugged. That is going to be courtesy of Brad Binder. Gonna be close. Getting really snaky on the brakes then with the Yamaha. We've gone a bit wide. No bender, please. Alright, we had the inside through. Beyond Death, yes, is bad exit though. But we're going to take third. Ah, oh, that was difficult. That was very difficult. But we managed it. We managed it okay. So, 53-0 for uh, Miller and Banya. Exactly the same lap time. 54-7 for me. The rest in the 54s. No DNFs. But third place. Happy with that. Very happy. So we extend our lead to 35 points. Miller moves up three places to third. 19 point lead over to Kay. They've moved up three positions. 38 over to Kay and the Constructors. So Park Ferme in the wet at Mugello. I really thought that was going to uh, be, you know, damage limitation at best. But we managed it. Oh, good. So we go to Catalonia next. Hopefully that will be dry. Let's hope so. Do like Catalonia. I like Magello as well. Just not necessarily in the wet. Even though we had a lot of movement on the brakes with the Yamaha, we were um, we were okay. If that had been the Honda, we probably would have been on the ground about three times in that race. Yeah, that mistake just allowed Miller through. And Bangaya as well. Okay, Catalonia is next. We can do a new electronics upgrade. Um, I suppose we'll do traction control. Two weeks for that. So, Catalonia six laps again. All dry though, good. Okay, so a very hot Catalonia. It is 49 degrees, so. Medium front, hard rear, I think. That's what it's suggesting anyway. 
Wow, a lot of them have gone for soft rear tyres. That is very surprising. Right, see what we can do from the back. Here we go. I'll stay to the left-hand side, though that's going to get a bit hairy. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought, to be fair. I need to change my power map and back down to two. There we go. Oh! Don't know what Banyaya was doing then. Playing silly buggers by the looks of it. Lost it on the kerb. That was so close to going. So close to going. door wide open try and get a late apex yes we do it's not too bad doing those sorts of lines if no one is directly behind you but if they are it really does open the door up for them oh, we've got Banyaya right behind me Try and uh, stay in the lead if we can. Isn't Bang Yaya one of the people on the soft tyres? Soft rear tyre. Oh, that didn't go too well. Nearly off track. That's about 0.6 of a second from that mistake. Stay away from the inside curb. Okay. Quattro seems to be struggling. I think he may have been on a soft rear tyre as well. There were a lot of people in the front two rows who were on soft rear tyres. Bastianini fast slap 39.7. A little bit quicker than me. Bastianini is now in the second. That's better. Stopped in time for that corner this time. Not good.
completely missed the apex that time. It's going to be another fastest lap for Bastianini, I think. Yep, yeah, 39.3. Is the beast going to come through? I'm not feeling that great with the Yamaha around here. Don't know why. Just don't feel that comfortable. Come on, Yamaha. We can do this. Come on. He's keeping me very honest in this race, is Bastianini. Oh, no, no. That was a big old front end slide then. Massive moment. He's coming through, that's how much time we lost. Can't tip in because he's there. Oh, trying to sneak back through. He's got the inside for turn three. I'll try and get the exit, cut back underneath him. Okay, we've got the inside now. Oh, he's got a better run. Oh, thank you. Oh, bit of green. Miller fastest lap, but he's down in eighth at the moment. Bang is joining the party. We've got one more lap to try and sort this one out. Right, do not have a massive moment into the final corner this time. This is it, final lap. That was my best lap so far. No. Completely pulls that one up. I was just to the beast in a little bit too hot there. Oh no, doors open again. Someone's just crashed. Echo has come to play as well. I wanted to get through there a little bit quicker than normal in case we ended up getting hit, but we didn't. Right, we should be okay.
We should be okay. We are going to be okay. There we go. Nearly threw that away. That was a very, very scruffy race. Very scruffy. 39-0 for Marquez in 8th. That was the best lap. None of my teammates in the points again. 22nd and 20th. Jorge Martin and Vinales both DNF'd. That was tough. But we extend our lead again. 47 points now. Bastianini is up to third. 19 points over to the Catalanovo team. That is coming down very slightly at the moment. 43 points over to Cat in the Constructors. Back on top at Catalonia. We were so close to crashing on a couple of occasions in that race. Our final corner front end slide. I really thought that was going to be it. Especially when I tried saving it and then we had a bit of a uh, bit of a moment. But we done it. We done it. Alright. So next time we well return here at Catalonia, Catalonia for the test. And then we go to Satsum Ring. Satsum Ring really should be Yamaha territory, so hopefully we'll be okay there. That was a good race. We've had uh, two good races. Two close races as well. There we go. Nice. What's going on here? Just make some room. Okay. So yeah, next time we do go to the uh, the official test. But um yeah, let's look at the standings for all three categories, starting with Moto3. Garcia leads the way now. He's ahead of Fodger by nine points. Fodger down a second, Gravera in third. Um, and then you got Mino up to fourth and Suzuki down to fifth. Moto2, Vietti still leads the way. He's got a 48-point lead over Arbolino in second now. Joe Roberts is up three places to third. Ayagura fourth and Chantra drops three positions to fifth. MotoGP, we've got a big old lead of 47 points over Quattararo. The Beast, Bastianini, moves up one position to third. Miller drops one to fourth. And Alex Renz is in fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. So see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe for a chance to look after yourself. See you guys next time. See you!